Hey, I'm at home. I'm doing the fucking errands, homework, shit. Fuck off. I hate you when, like, I hate when people do like a tutorial on some shit and they don't fucking explain. They just have that like, music or just silence in the background. You're like, fuck your sake. Or even worse when they type, like, hello, I am. That fucks me off. Just fucking speak, you lazy cunt. Well, if you're gonna make a video, at least make it fucking audible for me to hear, you know? Yeah? Anyway. Just wanted to quickly say, I think I finally found a Nick Cage film other than Con Air that he's good in. Face off. I was watching last night and I was like, eh, it's not bad, not bad. I didn't watch it all, like, the first like, 20 minutes or whatever, but who cares. The first 20 minutes of the film don't fucking matter, do they? Never matter. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, he's pretty good in that, so I like him in that, yeah. Also, I watched Chronicle on the weekend. That's a fucking shit film. All I can say is, it's paranormal activity with much less ghosts and more superpowers. Other than that, there's not a lot to it. It is actually really, really shit. These three boys inherit superpowers for some reason. Again, I didn't see the 20 minutes or whatever. Who cares? Fuck that. First 20 minutes of it, and then, then he has two powers, and they fuck, fuck, start fucking around, they're flying shit. And then one kid's like, Oh, we're apex predators, but um, we're only apex because no one else can take us down. And then he starts getting like mind, uh, he's developing his powers, and he's like, <sighs> With a car at one point, like, crushes it and shit. I'm like, Whoa, calm down, boy. Boy. And then one of his mates gets killed, and then the other one gets pissed off of him, and then the fucking <whistles> one goes mental. Um, obviously, because he's... But, uh, yeah, he goes to steal some money from guys because he's paying for his mum's medicine or whatever. His mum dies. His stepdad or dad or whatever, I don't know, fuck it. Who cares? He's an arsehole, so he fucks him up and blows up the hospital, kind of. And then his other mate uh, tries to calm him down, but he's like, no, no, and then that shit starts fucking causing him rampage and shit. And then he finally kills him with a stone fucking statue own fucking statue for his back. So yeah, I mean, it's a shit film. It's quite shit. I mean, if I, if I had a superpower, if I had that telekinesis or whatever, whatever it is, you know, the power to lift things and and what have you. I mean, I'm, I, I bet myself a superhero, I reckon. I mean, that'd be pretty, pretty cool. Or a magician. A, a magician or a superhero would be my goal for if I, if I had telekinesis. You think of a number, it is... Two million one hundred and fifty-six. Bam. Oh yeah. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Special K because you're a forty-year-old woman. Oh yeah. I know this shit. <laughs> you know, I mean, because if you've been a superhero, it's not a lot of um crime. I mean, there's knife crime in England, but I mean, there's, there's not a lot else of crime. I mean, there's no kind of bank heist. There's no nothing. There's nothing like that. There's no kind of armed robbery. Literally knife crime, that's the only problem for fucking nut jobs. Like the woman who bought like a knife set in Asda and fucked off and stabbed someone down the road. She was crazy. But other than that, not much being be the appeal for being a superhero. Okay, so people who love you. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing some shit for um, net beans and it's gonna be fucking irritating. Then I've got to do some mock ups and it's gonna be irritating as well. And then tomorrow I need to do a little bit more homework so I can get the fucking. Shit in here. I didn't save it, so. See you guys in a bit. <sighs> so, um, I need to go downstairs and watch um, I'm a Celebrity because I'm double booked on um, my good old channels. I've got my. Oh, my Gotham. And I've got my. Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead, I've got that on. So I've got those two going on at 9 o'clock, and then I'm um, on at 9, so I can't watch the three things. Let me show you well. But okay, so I'm going to Chat the Ripper. Chat the Ripper is quite interesting. I mean, if, if, you, if you're gonna get caught after a hundred odd years, you know you're fucking good. 
If if he was still alive, if he was immortal, he'd just be sitting back and just going, <laughs> jealousies. He he would he he would seriously be one one he'd still be killing, and two he'd just be sitting back laughing. So, good for Jack. <laughs> uh, just caught up some YouTube things and um, yeah, uh, food as well. So, not a lot. Just gonna wait for I'm just left to finish, and then I'll come back upstairs and I'll um, finish the day off. Also college. Okay, I've done the homework for errands, so that was that's fine. That's all good. I'll do um. Is that Jack the Ripper? Um, I feel like I've done his work, so I'll do the, this week's homework tomorrow, so that'll be good. And Frank's work, I don't know. Ooh, so it may, may not be Lechmere. He was then. Creepy. His, his eyes are like. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm a celeb, so see you in a bit. So Tuesday tomorrow. So that's good, good. Uh, Walking Dead, pretty damn good, I've gotta say. And I'm just watching uh, the teaser trailer for the new Dragon Ball Z movie coming out in 2015. Good. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow or Tuesday. Because uh, I like my Tuesdays. Yeah, Tuesday. Best day of the week. Yeah, best of the week. Best of the week. See you tomorrow.